hello and welcome to a new Kubio tutorial. Today we're going to talk about website navigation. We'll be working with the gadget template, made available by the Kubio free plan. The whole navigation is actually part of a block that you can customize however you see fit. If you want to select the navigation block you can hover over it and click on the settings icon in the upper right. From here, select nav settings. To the right you'll now see the block editor that allows you to make customizations to the navigation block or any other block. You can also use the breadcrumb view to identify the navigation block. Let's select an element of the navigation. I'm clicking on a menu item. You can notice how all the elements are nested one inside the other. The menu item is nested inside a column, which is also nested inside another element, and so on. If we move some levels up, we can identify the navigation block. The current navigation is made up of a logo and some menu items but you can choose a different layout from the content option. Let's select a layout that also has a button to the right. We can also make the navigation sticky so that it will remain visible while scrolling. This navigation is now set to full width. We can set it to container as well to match the rest of the website content. Currently, the navigation is set to overlap the hero. Let's toggle this off a bit. Now, our nav has white text on a white background. Let's change the background to pink. We can do this from both the style and the advanced options. Let's go with the style option for now. We can also use an image or a gradient for the background. If you change your mind, you can always undo and redo changes or hit the reset option. Let's see what other customization options we have. Inside Advanced, we can make paddings and margins adjustments. Let's add a 2% padding for all the sides of the block. You can also add a border or box shadow to the navigation. Next, you have the font color settings. You can notice that the menu items are white, not pink, as shown here. This is because these menu items are styled individually and individual styles overwrite the style of the element that contains it. We have a video on the topic. The link to it is in the description of this video. If we now add a heading to the navigation, it will be black, as shown in the typography settings. From the nav level, let's change the heading color to light pink. Let's move the block to the left and center the content vertically. Let's now remove this new column from the nav. Now, let's say you want to add more items to the menu block. You can select the menu item, and this will show you its editing options in the block editor. From the edit menu structure option, you can add a new menu item. You just need to add a label and URL to it. You can also select a totally different menu. Inside style and advanced, you can customize the menu the way you like. Now, let's see how we can delete the navigation from the page. Let's switch from the block editor to the page editor. You can see that the header contains the hero and navigation blocks. Use the X sign to delete the navigation. If you want to add back the navigation block, go to the plus sign here. This will open up the block inserter. Select the navigation block. The navigation was added below the hero. It has white background. Let's use the toolbar to move it on top of the hero. From now on, you can change its layout and styling. And that was all for today. See you next time.